This is a Frankie Lowe Butler hot water heater. It's instant hot water for your beverages that you can put right on your sink. Small little case, got some little rubber feet on it. And I'm gonna show you how to replace it in your kitchen in case yours went bad. Super easy. So if you already have one of these units installed, but yours doesn't work like this one, you can simply get the replacement on Amazon. You'll have it in a couple of days. And this is how easy it is to replace it. First, I tested it, make sure it had power. It did, it had water. It just wasn't heating anymore. And that's not uncommon. To get this out, you may have to release a blue clip and then just take an adjustable wrench, place it over, push the collar down and pull the hose out. We're gonna remove this and put it upside down in the sink so it can drain the water out. And here's a new one. Take the two shipping caps off the water inlet and the vacuum outlet, if you will. Now this hose fits right in and then just make sure that it's in there snugly and don't forget to put this blue clip in. It's gonna make sure that it can't accidentally pop out and make a big mess under the sink. Now this other line provides air gap and also water flow when you have it in the on position. Now make sure that this is on all the way. It's a little hard to get on, but just make extra sure you push it on all the way to the nipple and then use that little metal clamp to make sure that it can't come off. This is really important. Now we're gonna turn the water on first since the tank is empty, we're not plugging it in yet. But once you get that water flowing for a couple of minutes, check the spout and make sure you have water pressure coming out. Then you can plug it in and let it start heating. When you first turn it on, it's gonna blink a lot. That's normal until it heats up to its first operating temperature. Once you get it up there and you know that you're getting hot water, you can adjust it to the temperature that you want. Don't make it too hot. Also, be sure to change that filter element every three to six months, depending on your use. So I hope this video helped you.